the automotive sector made a hash of the numbers last month, a mess of pluses and minuses clogging the transaction price charts according to Kelly Blue Book. The overall industry rose 1%, even though buyers bought fewer cars and light vehicles in January 2018 versus 2017 using the selling day adjusted rate. Due to January transaction prices rising to $36,270, a record for January, the value of new vehicles sold climbed more than $1 billion compared to January 2017. KBB's transaction prices don't include customer incentives, which changes the complexion slightly. Average incentive spending rose to just over 10%. The average transaction price in December 2017 was $36,756, so January dropped a bit, nothing unexpected, with the month annually blamed for January doldrums. More revealing is the fact that the average transaction price in January 2017 was $34,910. This year's plumped up figure came courtesy of the continued shift to crossovers, SUVs, and light trucks which shouldn't surprise anyone who's read an automotive blog in the past 20 years. That category comprised nearly 70% of new vehicle sales for the month. Some manufacturers profited more than others, though. Fiat Chrysler managed 12.8% fewer sales in January compared to year-on-year, -year, but vehicles sold for $1,300 more. The Ford brand suffered a 6.3% dip in sales, but brand transaction prices increased $2,000, while a Lincoln sold for $8,700 more on average. General Motors sold more cars and sold them for more money. Overall GM transaction prices rose 4% to $1,270, a GMC traded hands for 7% more than in January 2017 and a Cadillac got $2,300 more on average. Of KBB's listed automakers, the Volkswagen Group got the most of out its customers, transaction prices rising at the German automaker by 5.6% to $42,243 in January 2018 compared to a year earlier. American Honda followed with a 4.3% increase to $28,991, GM in third at 4.1% to $40,313, 